shake that, please. That's why you throw all my bullets away. Well, you shoot things you're not supposed to shoot. Good morning. So I'm gonna try to attempt to vlog today, maybe do it for a few days and see if I can get a good hey. amount of content for you guys. Hey Siri, text mommy. What do you want to say? Just left my house. I have to go do some makeup this morning. Like, of course I don't wanna ever not be available to anybody, but it's one of those people where you definitely want to be available to them. And luckily I was available today, but I was also asked to do makeup on a day that my mom is off work so she can keep the kids while I go do makeup. I'm very relieved about that. <laughs> my voice has been cracking all day. I got no sleep last night. I swear I'm delirious because I don't know what is going on with Beanie, but she just was like beside herself and like cluster feeding. I did not want to nurse. Like you get to, ever get to that point where you're like, if you don't get off of me, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know if it's because I was so tired, but I get like that sometimes. But I was so tired this morning and Andy took Skyly to school and stopped by and got me a Starbucks on the way home. Praise Jesus. I could barely keep my eyes open this morning like when I was waking up to fix Skyly's hair. Today, I have makeup and then I have a bunch of makeup this week and next week. It's getting to be the season of all the events and things. Throw myself together. I have the nastiest hair, so I'm so happy I find I made it work with a beanie. And he got me this beanie. I wanted I wanted one. I want the brown one, but they've been impossible to find. At least in the store. I haven't tried online. He just showed up and brought me a navy one. But navy's so hard to match when I have a ton of black or like anything else. But I made an outfit work, thank God, because I just didn't want to put in dry shampoo. I already did that and I just like I wanted to just kind of conceal it. I'm going to head to drop my kids off. I'm going to drink my coffee, listen to some music, wake up, and I'll see you guys here soon. No. Because <laughs> I don't trust bathrooms. It's white. I just grabbed Subway. It's one o'clock and I'm not like hungry yet for lunch or anything, but I know I will get hungry so I'm preparing myself for an appetite later <laughs> but everything went so good I didn't get like any video or anything like that but it went so good I can't wait to see like the pictures and everything going home now I need to do homework it's such a beautiful day but I'm gonna try to get some stuff done and then maybe we can do something this afternoon I don't want to say anything and then him hold it to hold me to it the last few days has been so rainy and normally I don't really mind the rain but it's really been like I think it's maybe like when I got out of the house today and was going to do makeup and I don't know if it's because I was going to do makeup so it made me feel like I was going to work and I put myself together. I'm sure there was a lot of things that had an effect on this. Sorry, my hair like was matted up back here. I also had had coffee so there's no telling but I was in a good mood. It was beautiful. I mean, I still am but it was like just so different from the last few days and I feel like going home is going to make that mood go because I'm just going to get back to the grind of homework and cleaning and that kind of stuff which is necessary and it feels good when you do it but it can really weigh you down sometimes you know I was supposed to be having a hair appointment today I don't know if I said that but I needed to do this makeup instead and I'm so glad I did obviously I would want to make money over spending money <laughs> I haven't had my hair done in so long and I like I don't know I'm just like that with it like I need to get it done refreshed you know like I got a bunch of stuff that I've got in for my kit and I was gonna do it don't do an own video with it but I think I'm gonna incorporate it into this vlog I need to edit a hair tutorial that I filmed with beach waver which is what I used on my hair today just touched up second day hair so I will get some stuff done today and give you guys some content or something to watch because I feel like I'm losing you guys I'm gonna give myself a little more hype but Look what Andy got me the other week. He took Skyly shopping and thought of me while he was shopping. And, and I don't know where my iPad is. And whose fault is that? My fault. Yeah, it's your fault. Okay, so I'm going to do a little unboxing of things that I have ordered for my kit. And actually, Mommy, it was in my room. you found it? Oh, 
We've been looking for this for like 15 minutes. For the most part, the stuff that I purchased, I get a pro account. And then I actually just got approved for Charlotte Tilbury. And there are some things that I almost ordered off Beautylish from her. And I'm so glad I didn't because now I can get a significant discount. So I'm gonna show you some things that I picked up for my kit. If I have any thoughts about certain things that may have been new. So I got a NARS foundation. I just got another shade. This is the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation i love this foundation because it's a beautiful finish it's long wearing it doesn't have any spf in it so it's good this is the shade patagonia and then i also have the shade punjab the only thing about this foundation is it's glass so it's not the best to carry in a kit because it could break but you can also put these in like little um, muji jars little plastic containers or anything like that but i love this foundation on people it is so beautiful and very um, you can build the coverage and it just looks so beautiful. So I got that from NARS. Let's do Namie's. This came in today. It's a smaller haul. Most of this you've either seen before and then a couple new products. What I love about Namie's and another company I'll mention is that they carry a bunch of brands and you can get a pro discount on a lot of the brands and get really, they, the discounts may vary, but that may be the only place you can get that for a discount. So like say Laura Mercier on their main website doesn't offer a pro account, but they offer a pro discount on Namie's. I repurchased two lashes that I loved using. They're Huda lashes, so they're good to wear many, many, many times. But the Jaclyn number 20, they're just so beautiful. And I love them. The Olivia number 18 shorties, these are, these are beautiful on what, baby? These are beautiful on brides. They're really wispy and uh, I love them. So sometimes I'll do a different lash on brides than maybe like Ardell's or, you know, I just like to have a variety. Sometimes I have a more glam bride that would appreciate a really, really bomb lash. Then I also picked up some more House of Lashes glue. I usually get clear and black, but I don't know. Black, I'm just kind of like, I love it for the idea, but it can get really messy. And sometimes I could just prevent a lot of headache if I just didn't use black. Then I also picked up a, another cream I. It's a cream eye color, but I use it as a liner, which is basically what it's for, but you could use it like all over if you wanted. And this I have in the black in my kit already. Um, I don't know if I said it's from Dose of Colors, but it is. And I love the black one. It's just so good. It's easy to work with, very black, but I wanted to get a dark, dark brown because so many times I don't use black liner. I just use dark brown eyeshadow. And I would love to intensify it without using black. And I have brown eye coals, but they're still not intense enough. So that's why I wanted to get a black, they are a brown. They have so many colors. They had two shades of brown, but the darkest brown was extra baggage. Jars are really nice. They're a good price point and you get a good amount. This is the shade. Extra baggage, it's a good dark brown. Last time I showed a Namie's haul, I had picked up one of these. LC Jewels, they're pressed pigments. The one that I currently have, it's more of a gold and um, sometime I'll show you them side by side, maybe when I do my kit. It is so beautiful and it is, it transfers to picture so well. I'll put a picture up here with me using that that jeweled pigment. It is just beautiful on brides. I feel like my eye just got lazy. They have six shades in this line and one is a mauve, set and one is a gold set. I got the lightest from the gold set already. This is the lightest from the mauve set. I also want the middle shade and then the deeper shades are beautiful. I just probably wouldn't use them that often. I just love these pressed pigments and I've tried a bunch. This is probably my favorite and this is the shade Morganite. Well, I haven't swatched it yet. I was waiting to do it on camera, but you can see where it's more of like the mauve tones. It doesn't take a whole lot. You can see it on my finger. And I like to apply these with my finger. And here it is. It really has that wet look without being too glittery. You can see where this one's more mauve. It's got like the pink, pinkier undertones. Isn't that just so beautiful? I'm just, I can't wait to play with this. Wow, it's just so pretty. I don't know why people don't talk about them more, but they are just so, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with them. Imagine that on the eye with some blushy mauvey browns and some like rich, like the brown liner and some good wispy lashes. 
So that's what I got from Namie's. Now I'll move on to, all right, so this is MAC stuff and I love MAC. I made a really big order because my pro membership was ending. So if you don't know, when you have a pro account, it runs for a year and then in a year you have to reapply. And almost actually all the pro accounts I have are free to apply if you have the credentials to apply obviously but mac you have to pay 35 dollars a year which is worth it if you're going to order a bunch of stuff because you do get a really good discount but i will reapply because i do like a lot of max products some of this is repurchases i got four eyeshadows i love mac shadows so i repurchased um or i got three i repurchased a soft brown which is just a staple and i repurchased wedge which i use all the time and then i got the shade kid which i don't think i have but it's another like matte brown so they're all very similar but it's it's crazy how different they'll look on people's skin tones like you can kind of see all their different pools there this one looks so pink <laughs> and these are also you can order these if you're not a pro or if you just want because i had ordered these before i had a pro account and popped them into a z palette and then another pro pan that i got is a blush i don't know when i stopped recording but i found a blog with how to do to how to pop out your mac blushes because they are like in a thing like they're not that easy to pop out so i'll let you know how it goes but i did get this one because i just i have a lot of blushes but there's a couple of shades that i just don't really have in my collection and this one looks so beautiful this is the shade desert rose and it's a matte does this not just look so beautiful i just think it looks stunning three mac mineralized skin finish naturals this is a oldie but a goodie i have loved this powder for so long and honestly i will tell you this it is so painful to watch my old youtube videos i used to take this powder in a dark shade and put it under my eyes and it just pains me to watch but whatever so this powder is so so good on dry skin which is why i love it because i have dry skin i want to get it in more i wanted to get it in more shades i have a lot of translucent powders but i don't have a lot of pigmented powders so i wanted to get some for my kit and this is a good powder because it doesn't dry you out but it is good for anybody and i've also used it as a bronzer it's just a good powder like i said i have this in my kit but i want to get more shades so i got the shades light plus medium tan and give me sun so i like to get all over the spectrum you can mix powders literally on your hand one thing i will say if anybody from mac in the creative department is watching i miss the clear top i know they probably got rid of it because it would pop out a lot but i miss it because like it would save so much time if i had this in my kit to look out and be like okay which one do i need instead of having to like, look on the back and sometimes i don't look at the shade i want to look like i don't look at the name i want to look at the color and look at the color and then look at the client you know this is light plus a really good fair it's not the fairest shade but it's second to lightest i think this is medium tan really good tan and then this shade i got to use as a bronzer and then if i have some deeper clients a lot of people love this as a bronzer it's really pretty and i don't have any bronzer shades like that a lot of my bronzing shades are more cool toned and that's definitely warm last are lip products that i got i still love mac lip lip products especially their lipsticks last year i got a ton of lipsticks to put in my kit because i just got burned out on liquid lips i mean i still take them and use them all the time but sometimes i love using just a lipstick it's just classic it's comfortable i wanted this one i don't remember why but the powder kiss lipsticks it's a line i have one other one from that line they're matte but they're like a comfort matte and they don't dry out your lip they're so pretty i actually used the other one that i have on my two clients this morning and looked so pretty i can't remember the color but i'll put it below packaging is like this matte it's different than the regular bullets this is the shade a little tamed more of a hot pink i don't have a color like this in my kit as far as i don't even know if i have a lip liquid lip this color but this is so so pretty is it not like the prettiest pink i i get clients that want colors like this and i have to make them and this will save me a lot of time i have a lipstick that's more of an orange coral but this one's definitely more like a pink so pretty i have a bride in a few weeks that I had to make a lipstick for and it basically was this color and I can't wait to use this on her. It's so pretty. The Powder Kiss line, look into it. They have a ton of shades. I also got a clear lip gloss. I don't have a clear 
lip gloss in my kit at all, which is crazy. But I've heard this one is so good. And then I got two more lip pencils. This one's actually a repurchase. I had this and I actually just threw it away a couple days ago because I don't know what happened to it, but when I took off the lid, the whole tip was white. And once I started writing on my hand, the color started coming out, but I was like, ew, like what does that even mean? Like, is it expired? So I tossed it. But this is the shade Spice. And then Whirl, which is a classic. I don't have Whirl, but I asked one of my other makeup artist friends what's some of her go-to lip products um, for her brides. And she said Whirl is pretty much the staple. And then lastly is my Camerati Cosmetics order. And it's right here. And a lot of this stuff is tools. So it's not necessarily products, but there are products too. And one of the products is actually in my bag that I took today, so I'll have to pull that out in a second. And lashes, which I've already been diving into and I should have ordered more, but I I order from Camera Ready, Ready Cosmetics all the time. Hold on a second. Yeah, I had, already had to break into my lashes. I wish I would order more, but like I said, I order from Camera Ready Cosmetics all the time, um, like definitely once a month for sure for lashes alone because I get them for a deal. I love the Studio FX line. I've been talking about these for years, the wispy style and the demi wispy style. I also ordered individuals, which I used today. I've never used individuals on a client, which is probably crazy to some of you makeup artists. I don't know why I've never used them, but I used them today on my mature client. I was so happy with the look and she didn't seem uncomfortable. It was just all around so much better and I could slap myself for not using these yet. This is what I had to pull out of my kit from today, I'm bored with my concealers, okay? I use the Too Faced multi Face Concealer because they sent it to me in PR. I have a ton of the shades and it works really, really good. But it just kind of bores me. I just wanted some variety. Like I said, I like to carry multiple brands for different clients and different skin types and, and desires of, you know, or whatever. But I just was bored and I have Tarte Shape Tape, bored, and that doesn't work on everybody because it can be too much. I love the Naked Skin Concealer, but they discontinued it and then they reformulated and I don't, I haven't tried it. Let me know. I need to like watch some YouTube videos, but let me know if you've tried it and if you think it's the same because that one was one of my favorites personally. I've used that one now for like four years. I love it. I, I had stocked up every time they had an Ulta sale. I'm scared that it's not the same, but that's great for older clients because it's very thin. I need something similar to that is what I'm getting at. I watched a lot of videos for a lot of different opinions from people that I trust just to kind of narrow down my options. Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer and I've been, I have it on today. My makeup is just kind of half applied um, because I was running late this morning and I just wanted to like pull myself together. But I used it yesterday too. I, I need to get a darker shade. I mean, it works for me now, but I need to get a darker shade in my kit. My clients today were too tan for me to use it or I would have. I got the shade Fair Light Warm Peach. It's good. It's gonna be the longest ever. I'm definitely gonna have to cut this video and edit it and then vlog again another day because I don't want my videos to be too long and this one can mainly, mainly my uh, haulage thoughts while I'm filming. Okay, so these are Fairly new, I think, because I've never seen them before. They come in three sizes. They are Travel Jars by Z Palette, and I've always wanted to get a good travel container that I could pump foundation into instead of carrying a million shades. And I didn't want to get squeezy tubes because there was too many instances I found that they could leak. I don't know. Um, but this was something I wanted to test out. I wanted to get the, what size was this? This is the medium. I wanted to get the smalls, but they were out. So I had to get the medium. They will also fit into the Z palettes that are the dome Z palette. The thought of it sounds so exciting to me. So I got these to test out, like I said, perfect to hold liquid foundations, which some of the things you'll find like this, they don't say that, they say creams. And so I don't trust it if it doesn't say liquid. And it comes with metal stickers so that you can attach these to these so they can magnetize to your Z palette. So I did get another Z palette. This is the extra large. I have another extra large, but I want, this is like pretty much my go-to palette right here. This is full of different eyeshadows in here, but I wanted to depot some of my other eyeshadow palettes that I love, but I don't want to carry, like I want, I take the palette with me because I never know if I might want that shade, but I don't need the whole palette. I love the extra large. It holds a ton. They like put everything in like different bags. It's kind of organized. I got a couple of brushes, 
so I got a Sigma E30 pencil brush. I have this for myself, but I wanted one for my kit because there's nothing like this pencil brush. I don't know, it, it blends out liner and everything so beautifully. So I can't, I'm not, I'm not gonna open it right now, but it is a really good pencil brush. If you need a good pencil brush, check out this one. Um, I do have a coupon code with Sigma, so I'll put it down below. You can only use it on their site, not Camera Ready Cosmetics, but definitely recommend the E30. And then I also got a lip brush. I don't, I have a lip brush, but I'm not crazy about it by any means. I usually use disposables, but there are times when I don't want to use a disposable because it doesn't look good in pictures. Like if I am applying a bride's lip or faking applying a bride's lip and then their photographer's taking pictures and I'm holding a disposable, I just don't think it looks as beautiful. That might just be me, but Bedellum Tools has great brushes and they're pretty affordable. So this one is the 540 and it looks super nice. So can't wait to play with that. It feels like it's going to be awesome. Okay. And then I got another Bedellum tools and I have a few Bedellum tools. I've been ordering more lately and I really like them. This is the duo fiber finishing brush. Ooh, it feels so nice. There's nothing like a brand new brush. Too Faced sent this over. So I threw it in here so I could put it in my kit. A couple mascaras, waterproof, regular. I love this mascara. It's good and um, the 24 hour eyeliner. This is a repurchase. I have several of, I've ha have had several of these. The Smashbox Primer Water is a staple. I have to have it in my kit. I love it. It's very refreshing. It works great, it really works. It's not gimmicky. I use it on everybody. Also got some more of the Z Palette magnets. Some of my eyeshadows don't have a magnet on them. So I got one of these around Christmas to try and I love it. I need more shades. There's a ton of shades in this range. The one I got I thought would be a good one, but I can't use it a lot of people. I have to mix it because it's very yellow, but I got another shade which I th is more pink and I think they will go good together or I'll be able to use this one separately. It's the 24 hour full coverage foundation from Smashbox. This is my ideal packaging for a foundation for my kit. It's plastic, it's a squeeze tube, it is not a lot of packaging, it's just enough to have all the product in it. But this is a very full coverage foundation and definitely not for your drier skin tones unless you're using a little bit of this into a more luminous foundation. Definitely wouldn't use this by itself on myself. It would just make all the fine lines look worse. This is the shade 3.0. This is the other shade that I have, it's right in front of me. 2.22, light medium, so. It doesn't look too crazy on camera, but it is super yellow when it's on the face. This one's definitely more pink, so those will be opposites and work well. I'm gonna slowly build these up, but it is a really good foundation. And it's actually a pretty good price point. It's not bad. Okay, last few things, I swear. Okay, this looks like it's all Makeup Forever. So I got a couple refillable palettes. I didn't, these were so, I think these were a dollar. I'm not even playing. I think actually I thought I could pop some other stuff into the, these tins instead of having a whole Z palette. Like this is, what it looks like. It looks like a Z palette, but smaller. I love the clear. Super nice. It's made for their, this is, I think I got a small and a medium or maybe a small and a large. Oh, this one's not see-through. Well, oh well. So I don't know, but I, they were a dollar and I was like, I'll find something for them or I'll, or I won't. <laughs> oh, I got a medium and a large. Wow. There's an even smaller one than this. I think the small is like a half of that. I honestly thought this was gonna be a little bigger, but I think I wanted to be able to put my two shades from my Kat Von D palette in here because I don't wanna have that whole entire kit, but I don't know. I'll let you know at some point what I end up doing with these. I also got a View Set. I have one of these and I, I can't remember which one it is, but I haven't used it yet. I think that one is ideally for lipsticks. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because I already have a lipstick palette, but this one I wanted to get for my disposables. What I have now is amazing and it works so well, but I wanted something a little bit smaller. So this would be like Q-tips, disposable mascara wands, lip applicators, more Q-tips or whatever. And then these are the last two things. I haven't talked like makeup in so long that I'm like, I feel like I've been talking to y'all forever about it, but it's something I love to talk about and I haven't got to talk about it. I need to get on like live and do makeup sometime or something. So these are refills for my foundation palette, which where is it? I bought this last year. It was an investment because I actually could have got this on a discount, but I'd already bought it before I got a pro discount. So I thought it was funny because when this came in the mail and I opened it, I laughed literally out loud at how small it was for the price. I think it was 
$100 or $80. I think it was $110 actually. Mind you, it is still worth it, but I just didn't expect it to be this small. I don't know why in my head I pictured it was gonna be this big. This is what I expected, okay? Expectation. I never read the dimensions, I just ordered it. Expectation, reality, okay? So tiny. Because, I mean, it comes with two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve foundation shades, okay? I just didn't think it was gonna be that small. I love the packaging. It is so genius and fun. This is the inside. I could take this and use this for everybody. This is the Make It Forever Stick Foundation in a palette. And I love the stick foundation. It is beautiful. You get a white, you get all your darks, which I've used these to contour and look so good. You can obviously see which ones I use the most, but I got refills. So that's the nice thing is you can just buy the refills of the shades you need. I have another one in my kit to refill the other one and then the other ones are not in stock. So I gotta wait till those come in stock. That's what I got, it's everything. I'll let you know when I get stuff from Charlotte Tilbury though and what I'm ordering. If y'all have questions about things that I'm like wanting to get, find me on Instagram and comment and let me know your questions. I'll put all the links to the stuff down below that I can and I hope y'all enjoyed. I have got to go take a test and do some laundry, it's all over this couch. I've gotta do it before I lose my mind. So I love y'all and I will see y'all soon.